In a nutshell, ultraviolet light shines onto a catalyst, which converts water in the air into a form that turns molecules of pollution into more harmless substances. Here's how. In photocatalytic air purifiers, the catalyst that cleans the air is typically titanium dioxide and it's energized by ultraviolet light. UV is the short wavelength light just beyond the blue, violet part of the electromagnetic spectrum that our eyes can detect. The bad thing about it is that it gives you sunburn. The good thing is that it has much more energy than ordinary, visible light and exactly the right amount of energy to get titanium dioxide excited. Titanium dioxide is a semiconductor. You don't actually need much titanium dioxide, just a thin film covering the surface of a backing material called a substrate, which is usually made from a ceramic or a piece of metal. Here's how the titanium dioxide catalyst in an air purifier breaks apart molecules of air pollution. When UV light shines on the titanium dioxide, electrons, the tiny, negatively charged particles inside atoms, are released at its surface. It's the electrons that do the useful work for us. The electrons interact with water molecules in the air breaking them up into hydroxyl radicals, which are highly reactive, short-lived, uncharged forms of hydroxide ions. These small, agile hydroxyl radicals then attack bigger organic pollutant molecules, breaking apart their chemical bonds and turning them into harmless substances such as carbon dioxide and water. This is an example of oxidation, and that's why air purifiers that work this way are sometimes also described as PCO air cleaners. Here, then, is the big advantage that photocatalytic air purifiers have over other air cleaning technologies, such as filters, instead of simply trapping pollutants, they completely transform the harmful chemicals and effectively destroy them.